So Wolves have been knocked out of the FA Cup after that disappointing defeat against Swansea in the uh, replay there. Uh, again, just a small disc disclaimer, I wasn't able to go to the game tonight because of work. Uh, but hopefully, I'm waiting on a little review from Dave as a party, so hopefully that'll come at the end of the video. First of all, not too disappointed at all that Wolves have got knocked out. I think the primary focus of this season was to get promoted. And the situation that we found ourselves in in that respect is fantastic. And that's what we need to focus on now for the rest of the season. That's all we've got to focus on for the rest of the season. I think most of us were getting a little bit carried away with thoughts of Wembley and, oh my gosh, we're amazing. And pun I heard pundits talking about, um, you know, it's been a long time since the team from the second division have won the FA Cup. And the could balls be the first in since 1980, I think, when West Ham won the FA Cup in the second division. Could Wolves be the first team to do that? To, you know, disappointing to come up short against a poor Swansea team. However, that being said, it sort of uh, brought us all back down to earth as well, thinking that you know that's the worst team in the Premier League, and yet they've still, you know, we've struggled against them over two games, despite dominating really in the first game and then the replay at their place. We've lacked sort of possession stats, and we didn't really create any chances until Jota came on. Uh, but that being said. That's our second string playing against a fairly strong Swansea team, I think, with Bonnie and Fair and play, uh, players you know, who are playing in the Premier League week in, week out. We will get to that level, I think, quite easily, but there is a, a jump in, uh, in class between the top of the Championship and the Premier League. Um, it's a little bit of a concern now that we've had three games without a win, uh, because we've, of course, lost today. Drew against Barnsley and drew against Swansea in the re in the first game. Uh, so hopefully they'll be you know training hard now uh, Thursday and Friday with the the full first team um, before the game against Nottingham Forest on Saturday. Uh, it's, I'm not too concerned about the game today. I think it's been a bit of a bitty sort of couple of weeks really with the the great Christmas that we had. Um, and then having a cup game and one squad playing and then a Barnsley game with the other squad playing and then now today with the second string sort of playing it's you know I think we're looking forward now to the rest of the season where we know we're going to have sort of one game a week and from now until May we're going to have a full strength team all the time and push for that promotion that's the main goal that's always been the goal for the season and today's just made that it's sort of amplified that that's that is the key aim for the season. Uh, I'm sorry if this this video has been a bit all over the place. I'm extremely tired after a very very busy week at work. Uh, but thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And hopefully Dave Azapardi's little review is coming now. Don't forget to like, subscribe to the channel. I'll see you on Saturday. Goodbye. Yeah, Wolves never really got going today. Back three was a very shaky first half. Just didn't put enough pressure on, no urgency throughout the whole 90 minutes. Um, obviously, Yotta kept coming on and it changed the game for us, really got, created a great chance. Obviously, grabbing the goal had another couple of good chances as well. Um, just not enough service up to Rafamir or Bonatini throughout the game. Um, Enna Bakari had one little run, but other than that, again, poor. I think the whole team first touch was poor throughout the game. Um, but I think player wise, House obviously cost us with a mistake right at the end. Morgan Gibbs White and Andai looked all right again, pairing through the middle. Uh, but again, there was just no, not enough urgency throughout the whole 90 minutes and in the end, Premier League side won. Uh, I think the referee tried to hog the game a little bit as well. Um, and that, that brings up the discussion of VAR again. That's why they're bringing VAR into the game because referees don't know how to uh, referee these games. But nonetheless, decent performance, but just wasn't enough to, to get a win uh, at the end of the day against a, a Premier League.